Hi guys, it's Leek here and welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Leek and I review a lot of activewear, so if you're into that kind of stuff, you just keep watching. Today I'm reviewing a new brand for me. I've been seeing them around for a long time, I just never bought from them before. Um, I'm talking about Stronger. So Stronger is a Swedish brand and uh, they do have like a lot of stuff, like a lot of seamless, a lot of like also patterned leggings. They do swimwear, they do loungewear, they do like everything. And they also do offer like fast shipping, uh, at least within Europe. I don't, I don't know. I think they also do. Sh I mean, they do, do ship worldwide for for sure. But I can only speak to my experience. And I mean, since they're Swedish, like for me, it took literally like two days to get it delivered. So that was really good. Um, it was also free shipping, I believe, <laughs> and you do get a gift, uh, a free tote bag if you purchase over a certain amount, um, which is not a super high amount, I think. So yeah. Um, I've never bought from them before because, as you might know, I also do like Amen a lot and I will just link all my Amen videos up here so you can check them out. They're also a Swedish brand. And there seems to be like some tea, like some stuff happening, you know, or that has happened between these two brands. And um, that's why I was never like really going for Stronger. Like I've never, I, I don't really know, I also don't remember where I heard this from, but stronger signature thing is like two stripes on their leggings i'm just going to start a picture here so you can see that and that also used to be a thing that Eamon did and i think Eamon stopped doing that um but i think Eamon did it first and then stronger just copied it and that was the whole thing so yeah i was always like mm -hmm, interesting uh, again i don't remember where, where i got this from but i definitely have heard this from someone and um i'm always a little hesitant of brand, brands like steal other people's idea i mean it's just two stripes on one side of the leg personally not my favorite look anyway but like anyway that's kind of why i was like holding off on like buying stuff from them i think i might have bought something from them like a long time ago like a, a set with print and like i had issues with that i don't know it was weird <laughs> but um i think i do still have that somewhere i haven't seen it in a long time but anyway we have a big stronger review today this is the bag i already opened it so i wouldn't have to like you know uh, make too much noise with that and um i am like basically i try to like get as a few different items i went to their bestseller uh page and then just tried to pick a few things there so i could just review the things that a lot of people like a lot of stuff is black obviously <laughs> so um i of course try to go for some colors as well um and they also do have a new like seamless a few new seamless styles that kind of reminded me of some Eamon styles as well so I kind of wanted to try those too and yeah I mean especially if you're in Sweden you're like oh which brand should I choose I will kind of try to give you an opinion on that um but also like I said both Stronger and Eamon do should worldwide anyway so uh you can you can also uh, get get that stuff here or there wherever you are basically so yeah um like I said we do have a, a good few items all of this here and I'm just gonna dump the bag and then we can we can start. All right, everything is wrapped in plastic, extra. And these are just like standard plastic bags, I would say, which is not a problem, you know, per se. Um, I just need to pick something to start with. So let's just take this thing. Someone, someone put a handwritten thing on it. It says Glenda. I don't know what this means. Oh no. It's Oh, see, it's just a piece of paper. What does this mean? Did, did Glenda pack this? What does this mean? Who's Glenda? What does Glenda mean? Is that a word? I really don't know. Help. What is this? Interesting. <laughs> anyway, let's get to that piece. So we have the checkered sports bra in letters green, it says. I'm just going to unpack this. It's like a shoe, it comes with the uh, filling. Interesting. <laughs> anyway, this is the checkered sports bra. Ooh, it has molded cups. So for everyone who's always asking for molded cups, this thing has molded cups. I personally don't need these at all. I just like my removable cup pads. Um, but, you know, because I don't have a big chest, so I don't need the support, but I know some people like molded cups a lot. So yeah, molded cups, here we go. I've never seen this in a sports bra personally, but you know. There's always first, so that's okay. So this is a kind of um, like a long line sports bra. 
it has this like checkered pattern surprise surprise and it has like two green tones so i would say this is more of an olive and then this is like more of a um kind of pastel-y like green and uh yeah i think you have a lot of coverage i mean it's like not super like high neck or anything but like you definitely do get like a like a lot of coverage up top here it's not gonna be a lot of cleavage happening i think um, we have thin straps, they're not adjustable. You have two of them here in the front and then in the back, they become like a thing. So you have a bit more of a, of a um, what do you call it, strappy moment, exactly. We do have an elastic underneath the chest as well, but it seems quite comfortable. The fabric itself is a little shiny. So I think it was supposed to be like this. I think I got this to match the shiny leggings that I also got to try. Um, so it's a little bit shiny. It's very sleek, so it's a performance material for sure. Um, and yeah, as I already mentioned to you, we have the molded cup uh, or molded cups in here and some mesh around it. So I'm not sure I feel about the molded cups. It's interesting. I don't think I would mind. But like the question is because if I do this, for example, I'm not sure if it's obvious, but like you can kind of see the, the outline of them through. So if you don't like that, for example, you don't have the option to take it out because they're just, you know, fully molded in there. So yeah, not sure if I like that or not. For sure, they're not gonna move because <laughs> they can't. But yeah, th this way you don't have the option to take them out if that's what you want to do. Uh, I got this in a size small. Uh, that's my my normal size, so I just went with my normal sizes. Um, tops I went for a size small, and then usually with the bottoms I'm in between a small and a medium. And if I do try a new brand, I usually go for the size medium because it's always better to have something fit a little bit too big than it being too tight. So yeah, there's that. Um, but I just say to just see the thing on. All right, here we have the checkered sports bra. I can't really tell if I like it or not. I do think it looks cool. And I do like combined with this like non-checkered leggings and like a, just a different glossy green um, tone. But like the fit isn't quite optimal, I think. Like I do like how it looks. Like it, I got a good amount of coverage. You know, there's like the cute straps here. I'm tucked in but like I feel like I have a little bit of extra space and I also feel like the straps are a little bit too long but I can't adjust them right they're not adjustable straps so and you can kind of see they're like a little bit loose here I don't know if it's like super obvious but like I can feel it and that's the that's the problem they're like a little bit loose they're not really uh, providing any support that way so I'm not sure you know what to do about that <laughs> Cause like, it's fine. I don't need like a ton of support, but like, I still would prefer the straps to fit me properly. And cause like, if I do some jumping and stuff, like I could get more support out of it if the straps were just a little bit tighter or if I could adjust them. So yeah, I kind of miss that option. Otherwise I think it's a fun look. Um, for sure, I wouldn't wear this as a full, I mean, what am I saying? I kind of wear everything as a full <laughs> outfit, but like if I just went to the gym, I think I could pair this easily with like a, just a pair of green leggings or something and I would still kind of feel put together. Um, the uh, uh, molded cup pads, I personally don't mind too much. But I was also thinking if you do have a bigger chest, like it's not gonna fit you perfectly then, right? So like it does fit uh, for my smaller chest now, also not perfect, but like it fits. But like, if you have a bigger chest, like these might just kind of sit weirdly on your boobs. So I don't know how good that is. But yeah, all in all, I think there's a little bit of extra space for sure. Um, so if you're in between sizes, I would definitely recommend to size down on this one. But I do think this, it's cute. I just wish that there was like, the straps were adjustable. I think that will kind of help me with like, you know, the sizing issue. Because I don't, like, I feel, I feel like it, it fits nicely. It's just like, there's a little bit of extra space here and there. So I don't necessarily would size down myself. But like, you know, it's like kind of, hmm. It's unfortunate with the straps for sure. And it's also, it's mainly the outer straps. So these, this part here, the, this one, not this one. This one I feel like is okay, but this one that kind of just kind of crosses there has like too, it's too loose basically. Yeah, I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do with this, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I think it's cute. Uh, the fit could be better. All right, next up, I just have the, I think, what are the matching leggings right next to me here? These are the glossy tights in oil green. 
And as I already mentioned, I got the leggings also in a size medium. So let's just get these out of the bag. Oh my God, there's a lot of paper involved in this. Like some cardboard. And then just like, it's a lot of trash, you know? Um, yeah, so these basically are not a perfect match. They had a sports bra that matched perfectly, but I kind of thought it would be fun to match the uh, checkered with the uh, with the other green. So I think it's not exactly the same green tones, but like they kind of all like match. They're all kind of the same uh, color family at least. Um, yes. I will say that these, I mean, they're stretchy and stuff. They also feel quite soft and sleek, but it's definitely like, not the softest, but that's because it's a shiny finish. We do have a top seam and the top seam is just an elastic. Oh no, sorry, it's a top seam. You can see that here and you have the elastic here. So I'm, I'm never too much of a fan of just like putting an elastic there, especially if the elastic is just like a tiny bit of the whole waistband. Like it's just gonna be a little weird. Do you see, but do you see that though? This is like, this is how thick the elastic or how wide the elastic is. And I mean, the waistband is much, much wider than this. So not the biggest fan of that. We have the stronger just printed on here. Uh, we do have a front seam on these. And then in the back you have uh, some glute detailing here and you have like this detailing and then there's a pocket in the waistband, which kind of looks a little bulky. Uh, we'll see if it's still noticeable when I have these on. So I will say like, these are not the cheapest leggings or like Stronger itself is not the cheapest brand. And for the fact that these were like, Let's see, how much were these leggings? Uh, I'm pretty sure they were more expensive than they should be for what they are. Yeah, so these are like 800 Swedish kroner, so I think they're like around like 80 bucks. So like this is not a 70, 80 dollar legging for sure. Half the price, maybe. But yeah, these feel cheaper than what they should be. And also, I mean, I'm not, I don't want to be like picky or anything, but like some of the seaming looks a little rough as well for the fact that these are so expensive. So yeah, I'm not convinced yet. Uh, this is a polyamide elastane mix. And um, oh, by the way, now that I, <laughs> that I see this, I didn't see it before. These also have these two stripes. So this is basically what I was talking about earlier. Um, and this is more of a silicone thing, what they put on here. So it's like tiny dots. I don't know if you can see it, but here this tiny dots. Sometimes it's, I think it depends on what style it is, but they do like to put this just on something. Um, and yeah, not my personal preference, but yeah, we'll see. I, they, these definitely feel cheaper than what they, than what they actually cost. So yeah, let's just see these on. All right, onto these glossy tights. Like, I don't know what to say. I think for the price that they are, they're def it's definitely too much for sure. Like there's nothing too special about them. Um, they don't like look phenomenally good or anything. You know, they also don't like, make your body look like the best it ha ever has. I feel like I have a little bit of extra space in the crotch area. It's a little bit loose here. Um, I don't know how I feel about the silicone double stripes there on my legs. Then the whole thing with the elastic up here, not my favorite. Uh, I don't think they do give me a, a camel toe or anything, so that's okay. Um, but then in the back, I think like the pocket is a little bulky. And it's not like you can put a phone in there or something. It's like solely a key or like a card or something. And it's just like, it just adds extra bulk. And I don't really want extra bulk here. Like, I don't want people to look at this and be like, oh, she has a pocket in her waist. But no, I want people to be looking at like my butt, you know, <laughs> not at my, not at like the pocket in my waistband. And also like these pockets are only ever good if you don't like try to go upside down. Or like if you, if you do yoga, you couldn't put anything in there because it would just slide right out there, you know, because it's wide open. Um, so yeah, I feel compressed in some areas, but like not in others. So again, a lot of extra fabric around here, around the crotch. Um, not so much around my knees. I feel like my knees feel a little bit more compressed than the rest of my body. They are a 7 8 length on me, which is fine, but just keep that in mind in case you're tall. Um, but yeah, all in all, I don't know. And I also feel like these would show sweat a lot, <laughs> like a lot, a lot. Um, I also already think you can see like all types of imperfections. You can kind of see them enhanced, of course, by the uh, shininess of these. But I don't know. I've seen like shiny fabric that looks a little bit smoother, that kind of smooths the skin instead of like just like kind of exaggerating every every like imperfection that you have. So yeah, I don't. 
I don't really like this. I also feel like, because they have the elastic up here, so they're not going to slide down on me, but like this part would start sagging and I just have like a, like, you know, the crotch not sitting where it should be at some point, but if I move too much, so they're not the perfect fit. They don't feel that great and they're way too pricey for what they are is my, my, uh, conclusion from this i do like how they pair with the the checkered sports bra here i also do believe they have a matching leggings for the sports bra but i'm not sure so if you if you like the sports bra but you know you kind of want to pair it with something but just go with like a i don't know i, I can't recommend these basically is what i'm trying to say i don't i don't like them if i look down on me it's like really you can kind of see every little like bit and i can see all the extra fabric here and it's just not just not what i'm looking for All right, moving on to uh, this fun print. These are the Voodoo, or this is the Voodoo Sports Bra. So this is a print thing, and I, they do have a lot of different prints. And this was also, again, in amongst their bestsellers. This bag is also very different than the ones we had before. Um, again, just so much paper. So this is, again, like a performancey thing uh, for fabric. The fabric is... Actually, this one feels nice, I think. So this is a very, very sleek fabric. I know it's hard to see. Um, and this is the Voodoo print. If you don't like the Voodoo print, they have like similar things in different prints, basically. Um, I'm personally never too much of a fan of these, these kind of like elastic bands with like just the brand name all over. But again, I tried to get some of the best sellers to like see what people liked. And uh, this is a, I would say like definitely a higher supporter, like a more supportive sports bra. Um, you have like a normal like neck situation, but I think it's gonna be a good amount of coverage this time We do have removable cup pads So you have like this whole mesh scenario on the inside and then here you can just get your cup pads And they're black as well. So to kind of match um, We do have a razor bag here with like a little keyhole uh, There you can see the little cut out there again. I got this in a size small and then we have this elastic with the brand name. The elastic doesn't seem like to be super tight and it's kind of very stretchy. Um, the fabric does pull, a, like you can see the band itself does also pull a little white. So it does also does that on the other side. So if you stretch it out a little bit, you'll probably see it. Um, and the same goes for the pattern itself. So that's always a little like, you know, depending on if you, if you don't like this or if you don't mind, um, it's just the thing that happens. But uh, yeah. I like the fabric. Um, I personally am not, like I said, the biggest fan of like designs like this. Uh, I know that they do have some prints where they don't do this, where the sports bra and the leggings are a little different. So you can check that out if you're interested. Um, but yeah, again, I mean, this is kind of like, it just reminds me of Gymshark so much. And I've already paid so much money. I don't really need to be carrying around your brand name like this big everywhere, you know? It's, it's just not, just not my aesthetic. I know some people really like it, it's just not personally my, my preference. Um, and I tried not judge it based on that. So yeah, let's just see this one on. All right, here we have the Voodoo Sports Bra. Um, again, just felt like with the checkered one, I feel like there's extra space. But now also in the elastic, I feel like I could use a little bit of a tighter fit. So it's actually more of a high supports bra. Like for now, there's still a lot of juggling happening for my small chest. So I would say it's more of a medium support if uh not even a light one for a bigger chest and actually i mean this design suggests it's going to be a high support sports bra right so uh, i'm not sure 
why I think it's really like it's just like a little loose overall and definitely like for a high support bra I really want to be a little bit more tucked in with the elastic here especially with our elastic looking like it's heavy duty right um otherwise I would say good amount of coverage here good amount of coverage on the sides as well and I mean in the back you just have your uh racer back with that keyhole moment there so like it's nothing special it really should just provide that support I do appreciate that we have the removal cup pads and it also has a seam in the middle to make sure that the cup pads don't move around too much which is sometimes important because sometimes they do like to move around um but yeah all in all i'm just like i'm not feeling the sports bra it's just not my style at all and i would absolutely say like if you're on a smaller side of a specific size just do size down because yeah i do have too much space i think to make it a high support moment um yeah so it's just it's just that that's what i can tell you uh otherwise i mean yeah the design is it's a question of taste, I guess. It's just not my personal thing. Um, the fabric feels okay against my skin. I will say that there's like all these uh, seams here on the side. I can feel them a little in my back, but it's not the end of the world. It's just like, I definitely have worn sports bras that I do feel less when I have them on. And uh, this one isn't particularly tight. So yeah, I don't know. Let's just move on. All right, of course, we do have the matching tights. So these are just the Voodoo tights. Again, I got these in a size medium. And this one is a different bag again, so I really don't know what's happening. All right. Oh, again, we got some cardboard. We got some paper. And here they are. So these ones just go with the same theme that we saw on the... Uh, Oh yeah, the tag is in there. I was like, where's the hang tag? But no, it's still, it's still here. Um, but yeah, these ones still go, like, go with the same theme as the sports press. So we have the logo band, the logo elastic here. And um, if we compare this with the glossy tights, these, this is definitely like a full elastic band. So there's not just like a tiny bit of elastic in there and the rest is just fabric. It's the full elastic band. Again, it'll pull a little bit wider. And the same goes for the whole fabric of these leggings. Of course, if you stretch them out, you can see it, it pulls a little bit wider. Which doesn't mean they're pulling sheer or anything, it's just like, you know. And of course, since the base color of this print is black, you're going to see it a little bit more obvious, obviously. Like, whatever. It's going to be a bit more obvious when it stretches out a lot, basically. And the white stripes are now just part of the pattern, so it's kind of like just how the print is. So, of course, these are not going to pull white because they're already white. So, um, I think here it's, it's quite, yeah, I think... I can personally see my nail color, my nail polish color through here. I'm not sure if it comes across on camera, but like you can definitely see that through the white. Um, we'll see in the squat test how this is for the darker parts with the pattern. But now you can see the voodoo pattern a little bit better. So it's, I think it's like feathers and just like, yeah, that, that's kind of all I got. <laughs> but like, you know, it's a little more tribal, I guess. Um, of course, since these have like just the elastic, there's like no detailing for the glutes or anything, right? So it's just like straight across here. Um, again, the fabric feels quite nice. It's like very lightweight. It's very sleek. It's very performancey for sure. Uh, so I think these could probably be good, be good if you're like a runner or something, because like I think the elastic is gonna keep you tucked in. Um, but I personally wouldn't probably want to wear these for yoga or something. So these are like more performancey for sure. Um, let's just see these on. All right, onto the voodoo tights. Um, I think my torso is too long or something because this doesn't seem right that you, you know, that they kind of like sit like this. Like, so if I would put them so it's com most comfortable with like the front seam problem, I would wear them like this. But I, my, I would like to wear them like this. So I'm actually nicely tucked in, but then the camel toe is just insane. It's not comfortable. You know, I kind of have to put them a little bit lower to make sure it's not like really digging into anything. And it's just not, I don't think it's flattering on me. Like, I feel like with this, like, I won't, don't want to say this is tight or anything because it's not, but like, it's just like you have this thick thing and then all of a sudden it's just like all the pattern. And it just, I think makes my hips look wider than they are. So yeah, I'm not, not a big fan of the design of this one. I think it could be better with like just the normal patterned waistband. I'm not a fan of the front seam on these because they're just not as high rise as I want them to be. 
Again, the double stripes is like just a question of taste. And then in the back, I mean, the elastic sits high enough so your butt can actually do things. And I will say that maybe for the butt, the two stripes underneath kind of lift it, but then you only have it on one side. So, you know, it's not really like helpful to just have one butt sheet get the effect of the lift and the optical like illusion thing there, but like not the other one. So yeah, I don't know. It's not my thing. The fabric feels okay, but I think you can get like better, like sleek performance materials for sure. This one makes me already, it actually makes me start sweating kind of. It, it seems pretty warm, even though it is quite lightweight and thin. Um, it is very stretchy, I will also say that. Um, it is a 7 8 length on me, but I think you can kind of pull it a little bit longer because there's a, like a lot of, you know, stretch in both directions. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I don't think this style works for me. And uh, I just, you know, want to move on to something else. <laughs> All right, I told you that was a free gift, right? So we have the stronger tote bag here. Where does this bag open? <laughs> oh, here, okay. So we got this big tote bag with the stronger, uh, I mean, I don't really want to call it a logo. With their, with their name on it. It's like, it's quite a big tote bag. It's quite nice. I think it's also very thick, durable material. And this is the beige color, but this one basically does come for free if you spend over a certain amount of money, but I also think you can buy it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's always good to have more tote bags for like grocery shopping and stuff. I sometimes keep some in my car in case I go spontaneous grocery shopping or I have some in my backpack as well. Um, so I could just carry things around. Yeah, because uh, plastic bags are not it so uh this is just a tote bag we can carry on to the next thing i also i was wondering you know if i do just end up returning everything do i also return this i am not sure <laughs> i'll need to figure this out anyway let's move on to the next thing what are we gonna pick what are we gonna oh let's take this <laughs> this is a sports bra for sure it's the evolve sports bra and they call this color zinfandel that's a weird color name. What does that even mean? So, this sports bra kind of intrigued me because the leggings kind of intrigued me because it did remind me of the Amen Lux Seamless. So I'm just gonna insert a picture of the Lux Seamless here. Um, it is not the exact same, but it kind of has like some similarities. But then again, you know, I mean, I guess there's not that much you can do with activewear in the first place, so. Maybe I'm just being a little too harsh uh, on them. Anyway, this one does not have removable cup pads. It doesn't even have space for removable cup pads. Like nothing there, um, which is already a minus point in my list because I do like my removable cup pads or at least the option of having them in there, you know? Um, it's a very like, for sure, very light support sports bra. It has like a slight like V-neck here. We do have thin straps. They're not adjustable. Again, a minus point. Because, I mean, yes, they're elastic, but they're not adjustable. Um, the Amen ones are always adjustable. The ones for the strappy sports for us, at least. <laughs> um, also, no, I'm not sponsored by Amen or, Amen or anything. I'm just, you know, I just have a preference, I guess. <laughs> um, we do have a stronger logo on here. This time it's actually like a silicone kind of thing that's 
stitched in here. So it does move, but it's not like like loose or anything. It's supposed to be like that. And we do have a straight back here, and then you do see like some thick seam detailing um, in the middle there. This is like the seamless fabric does have like some some structure and like some it's like angled, if that makes sense. I think that's kind of cute. We do have the ripped band underneath. And the ripped band seems a little rough. I don't know. Um, it's a bit more structured than this. And this feels nice and soft, but this is a little more less comfortable, if that makes sense. So yeah. Um, it's a very simple sports bra. And let's just see it on. All right, guys. Do you remember when I was complaining about the lack of adjustable straps? I mean, a wrong movement, a jump, a down dog, and this is exposing all my boobs. I don't have a lot of boobs. I kind of kind of get the feeling like of this, I, I don't want to lean over too much, but I kind of get the feeling from the sports bra that you're supposed to have like a triple D that you really want to be serving to people because why is the sitting so low? Like, what's the benefit of that? Plus so much extra space. Like, but even if I were to wear an extra small, I think, I mean, it would still be sitting so low. I just don't know what's happening. If I try to pull it up, it's like, it's not gonna stay there. That's the problem, because the straps aren't adjustable and they're like so freaking long. What are you doing? Yeah, I will say, I'm it's just like, when I put this on, I was like, why? Why can't you just make a sports bra that fits properly? Because with all the sports bras I just tried on, like there was something weird, something too, big something some extra space here and not enough like tugging in and now we just have the the straps wanting to be like yeah you don't you didn't mean to wear me because you didn't want to show your boobs off right like yeah so all in all it's a no for me i like the idea of it it's a no for me i will stick with my aim and luck seamless strap sports bras because they're adjustable they provide support and they want to cover me in the ways in the ways i want to be covered so, you know, th these things are just like, this, this thing is just not doing anything, basically. Might as well just not wear his bra at this point. Like, if I jump too much, like, something's gonna happen. <laughs> and yeah, definitely very, very low support. Um, I can show you the back. Nothing special happening here, just like, way too much space. And I mean, there's one thing about like, things being like, a lounge bra or like, being a comfortable. I mean, of course, remember when I said it was listed in lounge, loungewear or something? I don't know if you remember that because I'm not sure if that happened yet. But, so this was listed as loungewear in the, in the delivery sheet that I got. But like, I mean, it's a seamless sports bra. It's a sports bra. You know? Anyway, let's not talk about this further. Let's just move on. All right, let's grab the matching tights. It's not that many more pieces left in this like mountain of thing. It's not a mountain anymore. Um, it's just a pile. And um, so now I can actually see these. So these are the Evolve uh, high-waisted tights, also in the color Zinfandel in a size medium. So these are seamless tight. And did you feel, it's again, the same thing I had with the sports bra, the actual like body of the sports bra was nice and then the band was not, like a little rough. It's the same thing for this thing here, for this thing, the tights, the leggings. So I do like the color. Um, I do think, yeah, like I said, I do think this, this part feels nice and soft and then the band just kind of like ruins it a little. Um, I'm also like, it doesn't seem super compressive to be fair. Like, I feel like it's very stretchy. It's gonna be like very, comfortable to wear but I'm not sure how much it's gonna hold me in basically so um we do have a fake front seam and then two fake seam fake seams going down all the way and this is kind of what reminded like what reminded me of the Eamon um Lux seamless tights as well because they also had that and their tights also had some structure to it to be fair the structure here is a little different because it has this like just the angled lines basically I hope you can see that um, but you, like the fact that there's like all these fake seams just going down is a little suspicious. We do have some glute seam detailing here. It's not too much. It's a little bit. And then again, the fake seams uh, in the middle and then all the way down your leg here, basically. 
Um, the fabric, like I said, does feel quite nice. What is it? It is polyamide and elastane. And they do seem like they could be quite warm as well without like being too thick. Um, but yeah, I'm not a big fan of like how this band feels. It's just like, it just feels so rough compared to the, to the softness of the rest of these. I think they categorize these as loungewear, by the way, on the, on the, um, ship, shipping, like notice I got in, in the package. Um, pieces are like, uh, categorized as activewear or loungewear. And these are in the loungewear category, apparently. Um, I can see that cause they seem pretty, pretty soft. And I think they might be nice for yoga. Um, but yeah, let's just see these on and uh, then I can decide if I stick with that judgment. All right, moving on to these leggings. The leggings are better than the sports bra, but I will say that this waistband doesn't give me anything. Like you could be 10 months pregnant with, I don't know, octets or whatever. Like, like you could still wear this. It's just like, I don't know. It's. I want a little bit of compression from a legging waistband. I'm not saying I want to be squeezed in too much, but I want a little bit of compression, just a little bit, you know? I don't want to feel like, like, like I'm, like I don't wear a legging. Cause I mean, if I want to wear, I wear a legging and not a jogger because I kind of want to feel a little bit more hugged. I'm not feeling hugged. It's not happening. Um, the waistband feels a little bit more comfortable on than it felt like when I just touched it, but still like the rest of the legging is much more softer than this part. Um, there are a 7 8 length on me, true 7 8 length, but yeah, no compression at all. Uh, I don't think I would have wanted to size down because I have some tightness here around the thighs for sure, like around the thickest part of my thighs. It's not like uncomfortably tight or anything. It's just like, you know, there it feels good, but the rest, I think there, there's some extra space for sure, like especially in the crotch area. So right above the thickest part of my thighs and then the waistband is just like, yeah. If I squat, at least it's not... Um, like gaping too much. I like the high waistedness. I like how high waisted it is. I'm not getting a front seam, uh, a camel toe with these. <laughs> it's because it's a fake front seam. So, um, and I do like the glute detailing. It's not too much. It's just slightly there. Um, personally, like, I don't know if you saw the uh, double stripes on this here, but like, it's not super noticeable because it's just like a seamless detailing in a way, like with all the stuff that's already happening on these here. But yeah, I personally, like these leggings don't give me much. You know, if you're looking for a lounge legging, maybe these could be it. But what I also like about wearing joggers when I'm lounge, I can decide how much I want to be tucked in because they have a drawstring. So if they make these with a drawstring, maybe that could be something. But otherwise, yeah, it's not giving me anything. Or maybe if you're pregnant, this could be a great maternity leggings. Also an idea. But that's kind of it. All right, we have two sets left. Moving on to something blue here. This is the smooth crop top in the color Marina. So again, seems very seamless, but this was categorized as active right now again. And this seems a, just a simple seamless crop top. Again, no Robocop hats, no space for them, no nothing. And this seems like it's just a single single lined uh, fabric like there's not much happening it's just a single single thing so 
Like, I, I think I can see my, if I stretch this out, I'm not sure if it comes across on camera again, but I think I can see the color of my nail polish through. Mm-hmm. Not sure what, how I feel about that. I do like um, how it looks, you know, like you have this V here. Seems like to be a good amount of coverage there. You have some, some ribbed detailing here um, to separate the chest a little bit. And then just like a very thin ribbed band here. I mean, there's the ribbed detailing all the way, but like you just have the thin ribbed band down there. Um, for sure, like more of a light support moment, uh, nothing more. The back is cute. We just have like some thin straps, non-adjustable again, and they just kind of meet there. And uh, yeah, it's a very simple one. The, this fabric seems very similar to the Evolve fabric. It is a little bit less polyamide and a little bit more elastane, but same uh, two uh, fabrics. No, it's not the same two fabrics, same two uh, components, let's call it that. Um, but yeah, I'm a little, I don't know. This is like, if this is not meant to be a, um, a, a top that you just wear by itself, I'd be surprised because, you know, like with the strappy back and everything, are you really supposed to wear a sports bra underneath still? But like, it doesn't seem to be something that I would want to not wear anything underneath, you know? Because it is quite thin for that. They should have, could have at least like double lined this if they didn't put the cup hats in. So yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little confused about that. I also say like, there is like a more open seam here. It just seems like they forgot a second layer. I don't know. Weird. Uh, Logo-wise, we have the same like silicone thing that we had on the Evolve seamless stuff. So, yeah, I do like the color, but this piece is just like, it confuses me. Let's see it on. All right, here we have that little blue moment. I will say just like with the uh, red seamless sports bra, the Evolve one, like there's nothing, nothing supporting at all. It, however, this one does come up a little bit higher. So I don't, I don't, currently I'm not afraid of this just like, you know, exposing me fully, let's say that. Um, it is just a single lined moment. So you can probably see some nippage and everything. Um, it is a little bit longer, so it is more of a crop top moment. But yeah, you can see that there's no support, nothing. It's not really like holding me up or anything. Um, yeah, it's, it's just not giving me anything. Again, I wish it had adjustable straps. So you can actually like get some support from it but nothing there. Uh, the fabric does feel comfortable. So, I mean, if you're looking for like a lounge crop top, this could be something, <laughs> but it's it's basically not, yeah, I don't know. It's not really doing anything kind of. Again, I feel like I have a little bit of extra space. I could have sized down, um, but you know, I don't know. The fabric feels fine. That's what I can say. It's just like, I've been, I've not been, convinced with the sizing for the sports bras at all so far and I find it very shocking I didn't expect this you know <laughs> kind of expect to just go with my normal small usually that never fails and it's just I don't know been a failure the whole way through I think the best sports bra so far was the checkered one and that still had like a little bit of extra space here and there and still needed adjustable straps like it's just not working for me and stronger bras. I think it's just not, it's just not a thing for us. Um, anyway, so yeah, like I said, no support. I wouldn't even call this low support. I just say this is no support, you know? Um, it also doesn't really shape you or anything, right? It's like, it's just there. If you want to do yoga at home, I mean, I still be, uh, I'm not sure. Like, I'm not sure if I would fall out of the top if I do a headstand. There's a slight risk, especially if you have a bigger chest. But otherwise, I think it's fine. And I mean, it looks cute. It's just like, you know, things can look cute and still give you some support or like some other, like can be functional. And this is just not functional at all. All right, onto the matching leggings, obviously. We have the smooth high waisted tights, also in the color marina. Again, seamless moment. Let's just open this up. All right. Oh, no paper in here? Oh my god, I'm surprised. No paper. Can you believe it? So, oh, I forgot to show you. Like, because these, now that I see this, these also have 
the two stripes, but like in the cut, it's kind of like a rib detailing. And I think the evolved ones also had it. I probably showed it to you when I had them on, because um, then it becomes more noticeable, right? But just like this is how they did it here. Again, like it's more of a like strip striped striped detailing. I don't know because we have these angled stripes here, and then they go just up and down for these two um, stripes around your thigh. First here, basically, it's just a smooth, seamless otherwise, like a smooth fabric, which is like the tiniest bit of structure. And then you have like the same uh, type of, like just like up and down uh, small stripes here to form these stripes. So how they did it on both seamless is very similar. It's just like how the, the base structure of the seamless legging is, is different. Um, I will say that otherwise they do seem very similar, except for that this one has less detailing basically. So we again have this more rough uh, seamless waistband with like the more rough structure on here. I'm just going to put that tag in there. We have the stronger logo there. Um, we do have no front seam, but we do have a seam in the back to give more glute separation and also some glute detailing here. So yeah, all in all, I would say like these feel pretty similar to the Evolve ones, just that the Evolve ones have a lot more going on. So if you like a lot more going on, I guess you would want to go for the Evolve ones instead of these ones. And I mean, they're called smooth, right? So I'm assuming that's why, um, because they just have less going on. It's just a more smooth look. Um, composition is, again, we have the same two components, but like as just as the sports bras, there's a little less polyamide and a little bit more elastane. So these do seem insanely stretchy, I will say that. Look at this, I could use this as a as a band. Um, but yeah, all in all, I think like between these two, if you're like, if you're not sure which one to get, then you just have to think about how much detailing you want, basically. So yeah. Um, I think the fabric feels nice on these. Again, um, the waistband is kind of like a little rougher than what I would expect and what I would want from them. But let's just see them on. All right, onto these smooth, leggings or tights um they do fit very very similar to the other ones to the evolve ones and um, i will say the evolve ones do seem a little softer especially also on the inside i feel like on the inside they're a little bit roughed up um to really be nice and soft but i will say that i do get the tiniest amount more compression in the waistband here so for sure if you're in between if you're kind of deciding to in between these two if you're solely looking for loungewear, take the Evolve ones. But if you're looking for something that you can actually wear for like a workout or like a yoga class, I would definitely go for these ones. Again, I feel like there's a little bit of tightness around here and then a little bit of extra space in the crotch area. Definitely a ton of extra space in the waistband. Um, but it is a little less, I think, a little less, just the tiniest bit. We do have some uh, glute detailing. I think that's actually nicely done. Um, and again, just like with the uh, Evolve ones, we do have these double stripes here it's not super obvious again because it is like a ripped detailing but it is there um i'm kind of always confused by this thing because it just holds over like this i should have just stitched on from both sides i don't know i'll just put it down here and then just have it flip the other way i don't know if you know what what i mean um no front seam on these like really these are very very simple um but yeah, I still feel like that would slide down on me because there's just not enough compression in the waistband. If I squat again, it's not really like gaping, but it's like, it's just not giving me much, you know? Again, if I want to wear leggings or if I do wear leggings, I kind of want to be like, I kind of want to have this like slightly hugged feeling. I want to feel a little bit tugged in and it's just not happening. Um, and I was really, really hoping that the seamless pieces would work since the other two leggings were already like not my favorite, but I'm also disappointed to say that this also doesn't really work for me.
All right, we have one last set left. This is a pure loungewear set. Um, let's start with the top of that one. This is the Kush Cropped Hoodie. And I got this in black in a size small. They also have other colors available, but like they didn't really speak to me. Um, and it was a lot of nude colors. And if you like nude colors, then that's your thing. Uh, I just don't. And I also know myself, I just get it dirty, so. Yeah, this is, so this is the Kush uh, cropped hoodie. Um, it looks a little small, I will say. Like, I sure hope this is stretchy enough to, for me to get in. And also for something I would want to wear for lounging in. And the word Kush made me think this was like really, really soft. It's not that soft. It is not. Let me destroy your dreams right here. It is not that soft. It like feels like, I mean, it feels like an okay, like, Sweat material. I don't really want to call it sweat material either. It's like it has like some structure again as well. I'm, I'm sure it's harder to see with the black, but like it's not that soft. It's like you buy I don't know some sweatpants and you're like oh why are they not soft? Yeah, I'm not, no, I don't like this. It's not. It's already the fabric is not my thing. Um, we do have drawstrings and we do have a hood on these on this one. Uh, long sleeves and then yeah, I mean it's more of a cropped thing. But it's just like the fabric is just not convincing me at all. And like I said, it looks small and not doesn't feel that stretchy. So it's not something I can see myself wanting to lounge in. But um, let's just see that. God. Like. <gasps> what the f is this? Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Christ. Oh. Are you f kidding me? Like, how the f are you supposed to wear this? No, thank you. You already know I was disappointed with the fabric of these and I said these look kind of small. And remember all the sports bras that were too big and a small? Like this is freaking tiny. Like I'm just basically just barely got this on. Get your freaking sizing right. Just get the sizing right. Jesus freaking Christ. Uh, I'm very, very sorry for cursing, but that's just like very upsetting, especially for the amount of money they do charge on these. It's just like, this is supposed to be like a loungewear piece. It's supposed to be soft. It's supposed to be comfy. It is, you know, it, it's just, I just have no words for this. What, what is this? Did they get the size? Like, how is this a size small? And I barely, like, I can barely get this on, but like the sports bras are just like, I could wear like three sizes smaller, like Jesus. Okay, anyway, we have the hood here. We have the drawstring, woo, um, hood fits, nice size for it. Um, this is supposed to be a slim fit, it is. I mean, th this part fits, I'm not complaining about this part, but like my arms are like apparently just like a little large for my arms or something, I don't know. Cause I don't think the medium would be much better. It's just like this thing is missing stretch. What do I want when I lounge? I want stretch. I want cush, you promised this would be cush. It is not. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm kind of done with this. Uh, let's just move on to the last piece. All right, on to the last piece. We have, of course, the matching, uh, like, joggers leggings for this. So these are called the Kush leggings. So usually they call everything tights, but this one, these ones are leggings now. Anyway, got these in the size medium and, this, and the color black as well. And yeah, unfortunately they do feel the exact same as the uh, hoodie. I just had so, such high hopes for these. I was like, if I don't like any of the leggings, at least I'll like these, but no. I can already tell you I won't. It's not what I want to lounge in. Mm, I'm disappointed. <laughs> Especially because these aren't cheap and it just feels like, I don't know, I could go to like 
somewhere else and just get something for like cheaper that feels so much softer and so much nicer to actually lounge in it's just the fabric itself and i mean it's kind of a knitted thing but you can get knitted fabrics that are so soft because it's like i mean nothing it doesn't have to be fleece lined or something but like just get some soft wool and just like you know i have i feel like i have a similar um like similar style of like lounge joggers lounge leggings that are also knitted and they're so much softer i think i got them from thumb or something i'll just link the video here and you can check those out if you like the style and i remember they were like so soft they had pockets these ones do not even have pockets and and just it's just the fabric is not what i want so these are more of a tighter fitting jogger basically you do have cuffs at the bottom you do have an elastic here as well and yeah i'm just like where's the softness it's, it's not there it's just not soft like and i feel also probably like it's since it's knitted you can probably kind of see through it at some point depends on how much you stretch the fabric out but yeah these are just not in so let's just let's just see these on let's just get this over with and um yeah i'm sorry i'm not showing you a full set but there was no way i was keeping that jumper on uh for <laughs> showing you this as a set um it's already miracle i still tried these on okay so uh yeah it's it feels it doesn't feel good no one want to go cuddle up to you because this just feels very very rough and not soft and not cush as promised you can tell i'm very upset <laughs> um but yeah i don't know their thing i got them on um i think they're a little bit tight around my butt which is surprising because I have always had extra space in all the other leggings as well. Um, I don't think you kind of need the, I don't know what the drawstring really does. I'm missing pockets in this. Um, I don't think it's like doing too much. It's like kind of just like, I don't know, it's slightly scratchy. There's this like Gymshark fabric. I think it was like the Mercury um, collection or something. And that was like a seamless, I really just wanted to take off as soon as I put it on. This is kind of what this feels like. It's just very scratchy. Um, it's kind of itchy as well. Yeah, not convinced, not convinced at all. If you want these, <laughs> I mean, you're, you're always free to like, you know, tell me that you have other opinions, that's absolutely fine. And if you do want these, I would suggest to size up a full size or if you're in between, just size up one and a half sizes basically. Cause like this for me, I mean, I have enough space from the knee downwards, but like my butt kind of is squished down. I don't really have enough there. Like, and it's also cause, there's not enough like fabric around my butt. It kind of dips lower when I try to like squat or move. And I don't like that. I really want to be just like tucked in. Um, I do like my high waisted stuff and yeah, it's just not that. It is a seven eighth length on me again. So if you're tall, like the cuff is probably going to make it less comfortable to wear. And uh, so to also just keep that in mind. But yeah, I just kind of really want to take these off. They're not feeling great. And I'm just like disappointed is the right word. All right, guys, so usually I do my conclusion time sitting on the couch and I had actually filmed a conclusion time for this video already when I had just like, you know, tried on the pieces, like not all of them, uh, cause I just unpacked them. So I like usually like try to think like how I like these things um, or that's at least how I did that for this one. And <laughs> throughout the course of this try on, um, I just realized I really am not that happy with all these pieces. <laughs> so I feel like my conclusion time was too positive in nature and i kind of need to <laughs> redo it so um this is what this is this is conclusion time it's just slightly different with a slightly different setup and um i don't know why but i still am wearing these like just uncomfortable not so great feeling cush leggings um i don't even want to say that anymore because they don't deserve this word <laughs> they just don't um so yeah so let's just make this quick <laughs> I did not like the pieces. <clears throat> My favorite piece for sure was the checkered sports bra from the beginning. Um, I am still considering if I wanna keep it or not. Like I said, like, the straps were just not the perfect length, but I think I could get away with it. And then otherwise, like the leggings are just like too pricey for what they are, it just, just didn't fit properly. There was some extra fabric here and there. The sports bras were an absolute disaster, especially the seamless ones. I mean, I'm still wearing this one, but it's not like, there's no support, like nothing. And for the fact that these are not the cheapest thing, like it's just, it just blows my mind, you know? Um, I will say that the seamless 
leggings. I guess maybe if you have a different body type and you like no compression at all, maybe they could work for you, maybe they could be something. But the glossy tights were certainly overpriced. Um, like that evolved seamless sports bra was just like, why am I even bothering to wear anything if this is what's happening? And then just the lounge where the actual like cush pieces we're just like, how did these end up on the bestseller page on their website? Because literally, I went through the bestseller page on their website, and these were amongst these. Like, do people have no other clothes to wear? Do, is this the only brand they know of? Like, I don't, like, it just blows my mind sometimes. And yes, I know people can have different opinions, but if this is, like, it's just so uncomfortable. And it's not just that it doesn't fit my body properly, it's also just the fabric itself is just not great. And these are like also like 60, 70 bucks each. The jumper, like Jesus Christ, like what was that? The sports bras are all like two sizes too big and then suddenly we make something where your arms can't even fit. Like, no, oh my God. Yeah, I'm just like, whew. <laughs> I never like to be negative, but like, wow, you know? Like they were really trying to challenge me to, I don't know, it's, it, it blows my mind. Um, so yeah, I'll be returning for sure, like at least 95% of the stuff. Um, again, like I still don't know if I can keep the tote back then or not, but I mean, that's a free gift they sent to me. And I feel like for going through this, I kind of deserve this. <laughs> but then also the question is, do I want to run, run around with like a tote back with your name on it? You know, different question. Um, but yeah, I cannot really recommend this brand. Um, if, if you want seamless stuff, like if you like the look of the Evolve Seamless, for example, do check out Eamon. Their fit is great. It is definitely something you can wear for a workout, but also for lounging, for both. You just feel nicely tucked in. You feel hugged. You feel comforted, supported. The strap bars do have straps, so you can adjust it to your body type. They have a different bra that has like thicker straps that fits perfectly for most people. And it's just like same price range for sure. And it's just like such such a better fit um and yeah I don't know it just blows my mind <laughs> um I don't know what else to say about this you know anyway if you do like stronger please do let me know like I said like it's fine to have other opinions than me it's, it's absolutely okay maybe I just tried some really maybe I just made some bad choices you know in what I ordered if you have like some stronger items that you really really like just do let me know what they are maybe it's some of them that I tried and you disagree with my opinion that's absolutely fine just leave your comments down here below I'm happy to discuss all of this um I really am you know <laughs> it's not like everyone has different opinions and that's fine it's just like I make these videos so you guys know my opinion that doesn't mean you have to have the same opinion as me obviously um yes so if you do like this video <laughs> I hope you still enjoyed it even though I was like a little like what is going on um do give it your thumbs up and also if you want to or if you haven't yet do subscribe to my channel so you get notified about all the upcoming videos and um, i always try to be very open and honest with you guys about my opinions so it's always really hard for me to hide my opinions especially when i'm kind of like just you know blown away by how bad things are i guess um anyway so you can follow me on instagram here you can also dm me there but i'm way more likely to see your comments here on youtube so also if you do have any feedback for like the filming background that we're using now um, I know it's been a few weeks now, but like, you know, still kind of new. Do let me know. I'm really, really curious to hear opinions about that, what, how you like it. If you have any suggestions for new brands that I can try, I'm always happy to hear that. And yeah, otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.